Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is another video uh, in the series of videos on the bioinformatics. Uh, in my previous video, I gave you uh, an introduction uh, how the bioinformatics uh, deal with the protein sequences, how it deals with the uh, DNA sequences, very basics of it. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to focus on how you are going to analyze the RNA sequences, but the very basics of the uh, RNA uh, sequence analysis uh, in the bioinformatics. So RNA uh, or the ribonucleic acid, it is a very uh, a more a much active member of the nucleic acid family uh, because these RNA, they are synthesized and when they perform their functions, they are degraded constantly uh, because these RNA, they are actually the copies of the gene uh, and the copies of the gene are available to the cell factory for function in the form of the RNA. And when the RNA has performed its function or when its function is over, it is degraded constantly. So the lifespan of the RNA molecule in the cell that is very short depending on the uh, function. So when its function is done, it is going to be uh, degraded by the uh, degradation machinery of the cell. Now, in the context of the bioinformatics, uh, there are only two important differences between the RNA and the DNA. There are a lot of differences, uh, but when you talk about the uh, bioinformatics, so we only focus on two important differences between the DNA and the RNA. The first difference is that the RNA differs from DNA by one nucleotide. What I mean by that is that in both the DNA and the RNA, you will find the adenine, guanine, and the cytosine. But in RNA, uh, in, uh, but in RNA, you will find a uracil instead of thymine, which you find in the DNA. So there is only one uh, nucleotide difference between the RNA and the DNA. The second important difference is that the RNA they usually come as a single strand and not as a double helix that you see in the DNA molecule. Now this table uh, is uh, going to tell you the uh, IUPIC one letter code for the RNA sequences because uh, when, you, uh, when you get an RNA sequence uh, from a sequencing company, uh, they are going to use these uh, single letter code for the RNA. So the single letter A that is going to represent the adenine, of course, which belong to the purine family. Uh, the single letter code for the cytosine is C and cytosine is a pyrimidine. For guanine, the single letter code is G. For uracil, it's U. So when there is an N in the RNA sequence, that means it can be any nucleotide, it can be purine or pyrimidine. So you can expect the adenine, the cytosine, the guanine or the uracil, anything on that particular position of the RNA sequence. Uh, when there is an R in this sequence of the RNA, that means uh, whether it is uh, an adenine or it's a guanine, so it's only the purine. Uh, when there is a Y in the RNA sequence, that is going to represent the pyrimidine, but it can uh, it can represent the cytosine or the uracil. And when, when there are these dashes, that actually represent the gap in the RNA sequence. Uh, so some programs, they automatically handle the U instead of the T conversion. What I mean by that is that if you give that in, uh, uh, in a sequence, and when that is an RNA sequence, so they are going to convert the T into the U. Now many don't even distinguish between the two classes of the nucleic acids. Now, so don't be surprised if a database entry uh, displays RNA sequence, uh, such as the sequence of a messenger RNA uh, with the T instead of U. So you will automatically know that if this is an RNA sequence and if you find a T over there, that means you should read that as a U over there. So for this reason, uh, most people they have adopted the habit of working with the uh, sequences of the RNA genes. And of course, these RNA sequences, uh, RNA genes, they are written in the DNA in these tools uh, rather than with the uh, RNA sequences. So don't bother uh, or don't uh, get confused uh, if you uh, see a T in an RNA sequence instead of U. That means you are still dealing with a U. So we will continue the uh, discussion on the RNA uh, in the uh, next video.